fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Enter change into fourth edition, unit number 15, part 2. Enter change into the الواحدة الخمستاشر, the الجزء الثاني, بيت الواحدة الخمستاشر, الطبعة الرابعة. أهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة لقناتنا English for Arabs. We're gonna start with the vocab book. هناخد أول حاجة كلمة معانيها. Number two. We're gonna answer the exercises. هنجاوب على الأسئلة. Three. هنشرح the grammar. We'll listen. هيكون في PowerPoint presentation للgrammar. We'll درس النهاردة. هنكمل درس الماضي البسيط. وأخيرا and finally. Homework. Let's start. Repeat after me. Six. The word of exercise number six. Need. Needed. Needed. Scary. Very afraid. Frightened. Frightened. So G H silent. Frightened. Again. Scary. Very afraid. Frightened, shy, introvert, shy, introvert. What does he like? What does she like? What does he like? What does she like? What was? What was he like? What was she like? What was he like? What was she like? He was tall and funny. She was tall and funny. First grade, first grade, this is like grade one. Elementary school, elementary school, a school for children. Elementary school, elementary, T, soft D, elementary school, a school for children. Primary school, primary school, primary school. Math, math, mathematics. T sub D math mathematics algebra algebra a branch of math branch of math a branch of math science the study of the study of biology chemistry and physics science the study of biology chemistry and physics history history the study of important past events in the world. History, the study of important past events in the world. Geography, geography, a branch of social studies. Geography, a branch of social studies. Classes, periods, classes, periods. Physical education, physical education, PE, PE, P, physical, E, education, PE, physical education, education in developing the body through exercises and sport. So this is education in sport, in doing exercises, PE, classroom, class. British classroom, class, British class, classroom, American class, classroom, class, lunch room, a large room in a school or office where people eat lunch, lunch room, a large room in a school or office where people eat lunch. Junior high school. Junior high school. 
a school in the USA for children who are 12 to 15 years old. Prep school, prep school, junior high school, American junior high school, British prep school. High school, secondary school, secondary school, secondary school, American secondary school, high school, secondary school, a school for students aged from 14 to 18 years old, high school, secondary school, or secondary school, secondary, secondary, college. American O as A college as a sound college University University T sub D University British University American University Gym a large room where people exercise Who talked the most? Who talked to you the least? Who talked the most? Who talked to you the least? On time, on the exact time, on time, on the exact time, on British American on. 11. Disease, illness, a disease and illness. These are the words of exercise number 11. Injured, hurt, treatments, treatments. Attempts to cure an injury or disease. Cures. Treatments. Cures. Goal. Goal. Take care of the L. Goal. Something you want to do in the future. Something you want to do in the future. Leave. Left. Left. Be Rob. Be Rob. To deal with a sad situation in a brave way. To deal in a brave way. You have sad situation, you have difficult situation, and you build it up. You deal with a sad situation in a brave way, in a courageous way. You're brave. Ads. Advertisements. Advertisements. States, the United States of America, the United States of America. Afterwards, later, later, T of D, later. Afterwards, later. Shelter, shelter, a house. Shelter, a house. In British, we say shelter. خلي بالنا في البريطاني ال R بيبقى نطقها silent لو قبلها حرف متحرك. يعني في النطق البريطاني shelter. بنشيل R ونحط نفس طويل اسمه صوت الشواء يبقى A shelter في البريطاني لكن في الامريكان shelter تبقى ال R دبل R لو قبلها حرف متحرك shelter a house find out discover pain suffering gain profit turning pain to gain turning pain to gain This is turning pain to gain. It means if you are in difficulty, you should change it and turn it into a gain. Page 103, exercise 6, grammar focus. WH questions with did, was, and were. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. What did your father do there? He worked in a bank. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 2000. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. 
Where were you born? I was born in Dallas. When were you born? I was born in 1982. How old were you in 2000? I was 18. What was your major in college? Drama. I was an actor for five years. Grammar Focus WH Questions with Dad Where did you grow up? What did you what did your father do there? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? So here we use what we use dead in question. This is simple past. Where did you grow up? Dead subject grew up main verb. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Grew a regular verb. Grew up O present past E grew up. What did your father do there? He worked in the bank. Worked E D. When did you come to Los Angeles? When did you come to L A? I came, came, verb in the past. Come, present, past, came, a regular verb. I came to Los Angeles in 2000. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. I needed ED. I needed the money. So here we use dead in question. Question word where, what. When, why, dead, subject, main verb, infinitive, main verb, grow up, do, come, become. This is WH questions with dead. بهنا نستفهم بأداة الاستفهام بأداة استفهام هنا هو هنا في ذي السؤال بأداة استفهام حط أداة الاستفهام where, what, when, why بعد كده did subject والفاعل والفاعل في المصدر grow up do come become الإجابة هتكون جملة الجملة ديت بستخدم فيها الماضي البسيط الفعل دي e d i e d he worked I needed e d regular verb a regular verb I grow up I came الفعل بقى اللي هو أفعال مش تمشي مع القاعدة أفعال الشاذة اللي هي الريجلر يبقى هنا grow up تبقى grow up come الماضي بتاعها came WH questions with was and where 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 were you born When? When were you born? How old? How old were you in 2000? Is so L be where? Banda, that's the fam. Where? When? How? How old? Like how old? Where? Subject? You? Born? You bet any? The bad that's the fam. Where? When? Where? Subject, الفاعل, while born. In the answer, where were you born? I was. I was born in Dallas. When were you born? When time? I was born in 1982. How old were you in 2000? I was 18 years old. WH questions with was what was your major in college drama drama was my major in college I was an actor for five years so here what was question word what was subject your major what was your major in college what was it it was drama I was an actor for five years. لو عندي بقى سؤال 
دلوقتي ما فيهوش بورن يبقى انا هستخدم فيرب تو بي في الماضي البسيط فيرب تو بي في الماضي البسيط واز وير فيرب تو بي في الماضي البسيط بيبقى واز وير فبقول انا في الحاله ديت ببدا باداه استفهام هاو وات وين واي هو was was he was she was it where were we were you were they were I where we you they in the answer have a subject was where Now it's time for the grammar, and today's grammar is past tense questions with did, was, or were. Okay, so in a past tense question, we need to use did, or was, or were. So when do we use did, and when do we use was, and were? Well, first. Did we use for questions about action? Action. So, was we use for questions about description? So, what's the difference between a question about action and a question about description? Well, let's look at this example. The verb grow up. Grow up is this action. And if I want to ask a question about this action, I need to use did. For example, where did you grow up? So when I use the verb, the action, when I ask a question about the verb or the action, I need to use did for the auxiliary. So did is only for verbs when I use a verb in the question. Now, was and were is different. Because it's a question about description. So if I want to know your house location when you were young, I would use was and were because it's a question about a description. So I'd say, where was your house? Where was your house? Now notice when I use was or were, there is no other verb in the question. It's the only verb. This is not a question about action. It's a question about description. So was and were are the only verbs. Remember, did is for action. So we use did when we ask a question about the verb, about the action. Where did you grow up? And was and were are questions about description. It's the only verb in the question. For example, where was your house? Very good. So be careful. Remember, when we use was it's only for the subjects i he she and it the singular subjects and with the subjects you we and they the plural subjects we use were another thing to think about is that when we use the verb be in the past tense we do not use did did and be are never in the same sentence. No. So, in the past tense question, you cannot use did when the main verb is be. We use the past tense of be. Were you in class yesterday? And it's the only verb in the sentence. Very good. Okay, so now it's time to practice. To practice, use did or was or were to finish the question. For example, where did you live before you came here? The question is about the verb live, the action. So we use did. 
Where did you live before you came here? Repeat. Where A. Match the questions with the answers. Then compare with the partner. In this exercise, you match 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 with A, B, C, D, E, F. 1. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. خلي بالنا هنا إن إحنا هنوصل الأسئلة ديت بالأجوبة. Number 1. E. Where were you born? أين ولدت؟ في هيروشيما في اليابان. هنحاول بقى إن إحنا نوصل الأسئلة بالأجوبة. One minute try to answer. Two. Where did you grow up? Two. Where did you grow up? Number two. D. I grew up in Tokyo. Where? Tokyo. Grew up. Infinitive here. Question. Grew up. E. The past. Grew up. Grew up. Three. How was your first day of school? It was a little scary. Scary, frightening. Yes. Frightening, I was afraid. So number three, F. Four. Who was your first friend in school? Four. Who was your first friend in school? A. Her name was Yumiko. Yumiko. So number four, A. Five. What was he like? What was she like? What's, what was his character? What was her character? Tell me about him or her. Five, B. She was really friendly. What was she like? She was really friendly. B. Six. Why did you take this class? Why did you take this class? Why? I need reason. C. I wanted to improve my English. I wanted to improve my English. I took this class because I wanted to improve my English. The answers. Number one. E. 2. D. 3. F. 4. A. 5. B. 6. C. Again, 1. E. 2. D. 3. F. 4. A. 5. B. 6. C. B. Per work. Ask and answer the question in part A. Use your own information. هنا ال per work يبقى أنت وصاحبك صاحبك يسأل أول حاجة الأسئلة ديت وأنت تجاوب بنفسك وبعد كده نعكس الدور صاحبك يسألك الأسئلة وأنت تجاوب عن نفسك Where were you born? I was born in Egypt, Cairo Where did you grow up? I grew up in Giza how was your first day of school? It was horrible. I didn't like to go to school. Who was your friend who was your first friend in school? Ehab was my first friend in school. What was he like? He was Nice, kind, and generous. Why did you take this class? I took this class because I like to learn English. See? This is part C. Group work. Ask the questions. Use a year in your answers. So here in this exercise, in this exercise, you have to say a year, like saying years. How can I read years? 
هذا اللي احنا نقرا السنين عشان نقرا السنه في طريقه سهله جدا لان نقرا رقمين رقمين 2010 2010 or 2010 2010 1 When were you born? I was born in 1977 I was born in 1977 When was your father born? My father was born in 1934 1934 When was your mother born? My mom was born in 1954 1954 When did you turn 13? In which year did you become 13 years old? I was 13 years old. I turned 13 years old in 1990. 1990. When did you start high school? I started high school In 1993 When did you begin to study English? I began to study English in I began to study English in 1989. Exercise number seven. Listen. When were these people born? Complete the first column of the chart. Now here, this is the first column. And B, listen again, where did these people grow up? So this is when and where. You will listen two times, should listen two times, and then you write when, the year, where, the place. خلي بالنا في الاكسرسايز ده في التدريب ده هنسمع المفروض مرتين المرة الأولى هكتب التاريخ هنا امتى والمرة الثانية هكتب مكان اللي الشخص اتولد فيه وتربى فيه لكن في المرة الأولى هكتب تاريخ الولادة الأحسن طبعا إن ال student answer from one time إن الطالب يجاوب من مرة واحدة على الاثنين be ready page 103 exercise 7 listening when was she born part A listen When were these people born? Complete the first column of the chart. 1. Jill My name is Jill. I was born in 1984. I was born in Canada, but I grew up in the United States. I went to school there. I became a tour guide in 2004. I give tours to Canada. Listen again to number one. People 
born. Complete the first column of the chart. 1. Jill My name is Jill. I was born in 1984. I was born in Canada, but I grew up in the United States. I went to school there. I became a tour guide in 2004. I give tours to Canada. Number 1. Jill when was Jill born? Jill was born in 1984. 1984. When? 1984. Where did Jill grow up? Jill grew up in the USA. In the USA. So Jill was born in 1984 in Canada, but she grew up in the USA. She worked as a tour guide. 2. Roger I'm Roger. I grew up in the UK and I live there now, but I was born in South Africa. I was born there in 1993. I'm a student and I'm going to be a doctor someday. 2. Roger I'm Roger. I grew up in the UK and I live there now. But I was born in South Africa. I was born there in 1993. I'm a student and I'm going to be a doctor someday. Roger. 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 When was he born? He was born in 1993. Where did he grow up? He grew up in the UK, the UK, the United Kingdom, England. Where was he born? Joe was born in South Africa. Why did he travel to the UK? He's a student. He will be a doctor. So when? 1993. Where? The UK. 3. Three. Bianca. My name is Bianca and I live in Spain, but I wasn't born there. I was born in Mexico in 1965. I moved to Spain in 1967. And grew up there. I'm a reporter for a local Spanish language TV station. 3. Bianca My name is Bianca and I live in Spain, but I wasn't born there. I was born in Mexico in 1965. I moved to Spain in 1967 and grew up there. I'm a reporter for a local Spanish language TV station. Bianca, when was she born? Bianca was born in 1965. 1965. Where? Where was she born? She was born in Mexico. But where did she grow up? She grew up in Spain. So Bianca, 1965, Spain. She grew up in Spain. She works for local TV station. She works for a local TV station as a television host, a television reporter. She works as a reporter. I'm a reporter for a local Spanish language TV station. 4. Ahmed I'm Ahmed. I'm an architect. I was born in 1974 in Egypt. I grew up in Egypt and moved to France last year. But I'm planning to return to Egypt next year. I want to start my own business there. 4. Ahmed I'm Ahmed. I'm an architect. 
I was born in 1974 in Egypt. I grew up in Egypt and moved to France last year. But I'm planning to return to Egypt next year. I want to start my own business there. Number 4. Ahmed Where was Ahmed born? He was born in 1974. 1974. Where did he grow up? He grew up in Egypt. He was born in Egypt. But he traveled to France. Last year he traveled to France. What's his job? He's an architect. An architect and engineer. Again, Ahmed. When? 1974. Where? Egypt. Exercise number eight, word power. In this exercise, you complete the word map with words from the list. Then listen and check. Here you have different words. You get the words and write them in this word map in these sections. School days have classes, schools, places. Schools, what kinds of schools? Classes, periods. The subjects, places, the cafeteria, cafeteria, classroom, college, college, university, faculty, computer lab, lab for computers, elementary school, elementary school, primary school, high school, high school, secondary school, history, junior high school. Junior high school, prep school, library, library, a place to borrow box, math, math, mathematics, physical education, PE, science, school days. Let's get number one, okay. What about classes, the subjects? We have here for classes, but we can have history, math, science, physical education. So classes, science, physical education, math, History, history, math, physical education, science. Schools, schools, we have college, elementary school, high school, junior high school. In order, Bittertib, elementary school, junior high school, high school, college. Places. What are the places in the school? In the school we have classroom, computer lab, library, 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 computer lab, classroom, cafeteria. Exercise number eight, the answers. Page 104, exercise eight, word power. Part A, complete the word map with words from the list. Then listen and check. Classes, history, math, physical education, science, schools college elementary school high school junior high school places cafeteria classroom computer lab library b pair work this is between you and your friend
Find out about your partner's elementary, junior high, or high school days. Ask these questions until the class. Here, you ask your friend questions about the school. Example. This is what classes did you take? What classes did you take? I took in elementary school I took math, science, English, Arabic. What was your favorite class? What was your favorite subject? English was my favorite subject. Why? Because I was an excellent student. What classes didn't you like? Why not? I didn't like science. It was difficult. Who was your best friend? Ahab was my best friend. Ahmad Hamdi was my best friend. Who was your favorite teacher and why? My favorite teacher was Mr. Talat. Because he was funny. Where did you spend your free time? Why? I spent my free time in the club. I played football. What was a typical day of school like? It was wonderful. I started at 7 o'clock in the morning. I finished at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. What didn't you like about school? The school was far for me because I was a child. I was seven years old. I have to walk to school. So in elementary school, Dan spent his free time in the library because he liked to read. So can you make sentences? You ask your friend the questions. Your friend asks you these questions about your school days. Exercise number nine. Exercise number nine. Look at the picture. What do you see? Students, boys, girls, young men, young ladies, desks, chairs, tables, blackboard, board. Blackboard So What do you remember? What do you remember? What do you remember? A. Group work How often does this English class meet? How often? How many times? What do you remember from your last class? Ask and answer these questions 1. Who was in class? Who wasn't there? 1. In my class, there were 5 students. 2. Who wasn't there? Ibrahim wasn't there. Question number two. Were you early, late, or on time? I was early. Where did you sit? Sit, sit down. Last class, I sat in the middle in front of my teacher. In the middle, in front of my teacher. What did you talk about? 
I told about English. I told about. I told about how to speak English well. We talked about fruit, vegetables. I learned. I learned different things about my classmates. My classmates came to learn English for work. What words did you learn? I learned different words about fruit, vegetables, work, and jobs. Did you have any homework? Yes, I did. What did you do after class? After the class, I went home. Exercise number eleven: reading. Look at the picture. What do you see in this picture? We have here different box. A lot of box. A young lady. Different box. A young lady. So. Where does she work? Maybe she works in a library, a bookstore. A bookstore is a place to sell books. Maybe it's a library. It's a place where you borrow books. What's her story? Let's listen. Turning pain to gain. How can you change pain? Someone who's feeling pain to gain to something good, something bad to something good. Now, scan the article. Why does McKinsey read all the time? Just let's listen now to McKinsey. Why does she read? Page one hundred five, exercise eleven, reading. Turning pain to gain. Seven years ago, Mackenzie Barrup hurt her knee. She was just ten years old. A week later, the pain was still there. The pain didn't stop. Then she found out about a disease called RSD. This disease tells the brain her knee is still injured, even though it isn't. There is no cure for the pain. Her knee feels terrible all the time. Sometimes Mackenzie felt so awful that she stayed in bed for months. It was very difficult to walk. Her doctors tried everything: medicine, exercise, and other treatments. Nothing worked, except books. Mackenzie read lots of books. The books helped her stop thinking about the pain. And she decided to help other children forget their pain too. She found out about a treatment center for children nearby. The center had a new library, but no books. She asked all her friends and her parents' friends to give books. Then she put ads in newspapers and made a website. Mackenzie's goal was to give 300 books to the library, but she soon had 3,000 books, and more were on the way. Today, that number is more than forty thousand. She started an organization, Sheltering Books, now helps children in many states in the U.S. Mackenzie's knee still hurts all the time, but she feels better because she's helping other kids with their pain. Mackenzie, why does Mackenzie read all the time? This is the story of Mackenzie. Seven years ago, in the past, Mackenzie Birup hurt. Birup hurt her knee. Knee. Her knee got hurt a lot. She was just ten years old. A week later, the pain was still there. 
The pain didn't stop. Then she found out, she discovered about a disease called RSD. The disease tells the brain her knee is still injured, even though it hadn't. There is no cure for the pain. There is no medical treatment for this pain. Her knee feels terrible. Her knee was too bad all the time. So here Mackenzie, she had a very big problem with her knee. And she was only 10 years old. Although she has medical treatment, her knee was still hurt. What was the problem? She found out she discovered the disease. It's called RSD disease. This disease tells the brain that her knee is still injured, even though it hadn't. This is a very big problem. This is a very big problem. It's a very rare disease. There is no cure for the pain. Her knee feels terrible all the time. Mackenzie كان عندها مشكلة كبيرة جدا في القدم في الركبة. هي للأسف الشديد عمرها كان عشر سنين. فكانت تحس بألم فظيع جدا. وعلى الرغم إن هي اتعالجت من الألم ديت فإن المشكلة كان إن المخ كان دايما بيتلقى إشارات من الركبة إن هي مصابة. على الرغم من هي متعالجة من هي خيط الأدوية There is no cure for this pain ما كانش في أي علاج ليها خالص غير إن هي تقعد تقرا طول الوقت Her knee feels terrible all the time Now let's ask some questions When was Mackenzie knees got injured? When she was 10 years old. Did the pain stop? No, it didn't. What caused, what caused this pain? A disease called RSD. RSD disease. Is there a cure for RSD disease? No, there isn't. How does Mackenzie feel? She felt terrible. She feels terrible all the time. She feels too bad. Sometimes Mackenzie felt so awful that she stayed in, ba in bed for months. So she stayed in the bed for different months. She couldn't get out of the bed. It was very difficult to walk. She can't walk. Her doctors tried everything. The doctors tried to help her. To give her medicine, exercise, and other treatments. Treatments, medical treatments. But nothing worked except box. Although the doctors gave her all kinds of medicine, It didn't work. Nothing worked except box. دكاترة دوها كل أنواع الأدوية لكن للأسف الشديد مفيش حاجة نفعت غير إن هي تقعد تقرأ الكتب. Was it easy for Mackenzie to stay in bed for months? No, it wasn't. It was very difficult to walk. What did her doctor do? Her doctor tried everything, medicine, exercise, and other treatments. Did it work? Did the medicine work? No. No, it didn't work. What did it work? Reading box. Mackenzie read lots of box. The box helped her stop thinking about the pain. And she decided to help other children forget their pain too.
McKinsey read a lot, lots of books. Why? Because these books helped her stop thinking about the pain. What did she decide? She decided to help other children to forget their pain. So she decided to help other children forget their pain too. She found out about a treatment center for children nearby. So she went for a center, a treatment center near her house. Treatment center, center that treats, give medical treatment for all the children. The center had a new library, but no box. In this center, there is a library, but no box. She asked all her friends and her parents' friends to give box. She asked all her friends and all her parents' friends to help her by giving box. Then she put ads, ads, advertisements in the newspapers and made a website. ماكنزي حاولت إن هي تعمل مكتبة جديدة جدا المكتبة دي موجودة في أحد المراكز التأهيلية للعلاج تمكنت إن هي تجمع كتب كتيرة جدا من أصدقائها وأصدقاء والدها ووالدتها بعد كده عملت إعلانات في الجرايد وعملت ويب سايت موقع كبير جدا عشان الناس تتبرع بالكتب للمكتبة اللي موجودة في المركز العلاجي ماكينزيز جول واس تو جيف 300 باكس تو ذا لايبرري بات شي سون هاد 3000 باكس اند مور وير اون ذا واي توداي ذات نمبر از مور ذان 40 She started an organization. Sheltering Box now helps children in many states in the U.S. Sheltering Box now helps children in many states in the U.S.A. The goal of McKinsey was to collect, to give 300 box to the library. But she had three thousand bucks. وكان الهدف إن هي تجمع تلتمية كتاب لكن جمعت تلات آلاف كتاب. Today that number is more than forty thousand. It was a very big number. Now she has about forty thousand bucks. She started an organization. It's called Children Box to help children in many states in the USA. عملت مؤسسة منظمة مع Children Box عشان تجمع الكتب جمعت أكثر من أربعين ألف كتاب. McKinsey's knee still hurts all the time. Her knee still hurts all the time, but she feels better. Because she's helping other kids with their pain. She felt better. She feels better because she's helping other kids, other children to forget their pain. رغم ان ماكينزي لسه برضه رجليها بتشعر بالالم في الركبة لكن هي هي بتشعر بالتحسن ان هي ساعدت أطفال كتيرة جدا إنهم ينسوا الألام بتاعتهم. Read the article, then write questions for each answer. 1. When did McKinsey hurt her knee? 7 years ago. 2. She felt terrible. The question is. Question number two, how did she feel when she found out about RSD? How did she feel 
When she found out about RSD, she felt terrible. She felt too bad. Three. Answer, medicine, exercise, and other treatments. So what is the question? How did her doctors try to help her? How did her doctors try to help her? By giving her medicine, exercise, and other treatments. Four. They helped her forget her pain. So question number four. Why? Why did Mackenzie read lots of books? Why did Mackenzie read? Why did Mackenzie read lots of books? Because they helped her forget her pain. Five. She asked her family and friends. The question, who? Who did Mackenzie? Who did Mackenzie ask to give box? She asked her family and friends. Six. To give three hundred box. What was Mackenzie's goal? What was Mackenzie's goal? Again, the questions. Number one. When did Mackenzie hurt her knee? 2. How did she feel when she found out about RSD? 3. How did her doctors try to help her? 4. Why did Mackenzie read lots of books? 5. Who did Mackenzie ask to give box? 6. What was Mackenzie's goal? Number B. Number these events in Mackenzie's life from 1 first to 7 last. So here you should put them in order from 1 to 7. هنا نحط القصة بالترتيب الأحداث بالترتيب هيكون number one اللي هو أول حدث number seven last آخر حدث one C she hurt her knee number two then what happened B she found out about RSD so B this is number two. Number two, B. Three, G. She tried lots of different treatments. Three, G. Four, E. She discovered box helped her pain. She discovered box helped her pain. So number four, E. Five, F. She asked her friends for box. Six, A. She made a website. She made a website. 7. D. She started an organization. 6B2C1D7E4F5 G three. Then the end of unit fifteen, part part two, interchange intro for sedition. Homework 
Number one, keep the words by heart. Number two, study the video, listen and repeat. Three, answer three pages in the workbook. Four, watch the video interchange intro. Unit 15 for sedition. 5. Go to www.interchangearcade.org and go to the SL Mode of Interchange Arcade. Wish you like it, share it, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Wish you all good luck. Assalamu alaikum. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state of the art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. ممكن نجيب كتاب Interchange في أي مكتبة على مستوى العالم الكتاب موجود في العالم العربي كله في السعودية في الكويت الإمارات البحرين مصر والكتاب كمان موجود في فرنسا وإيطاليا وأسبانيا في كل الدول وفي أوروبا فكل الناس اللي هم بياخدوا اللغة الإنجليزية كلغة أجنبية تانية بيقدروا يستخدموا الكتاب عندنا مثلا في مصر في المكتبة الأكاديمية وده جنب مترو أنفاق الدقي مجرد ما تخرج من مثل انفاق الدقي هتلاقي المكتبه على طول قدامك مكتب سفينكس في شارع الشواربي شارع الشواربي في وسط البلد مشهور جدا فعندنا مكتبة جرير مكتبة جرير برضو بتقدم كتاب كتاب انترتشينج سلسلة كلها وهي لها فروع في كل دول الخليج مكتبة الامازون اللي هي المكتبة رقم واحد على مستوى العالم ودي برضو فيها كل النسخ بتاعت الانترتشينج 